<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Fort Clark, No Springs, Texas, on a not cool morning. It's 74 degrees, but we got a norther coming in, finally, and it's going to be in the 70s and stuff. So, yeah, we're fall is finally getting here. It's October the, what today? Second, third, 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 October 3rd, 10, 3. Isn't that right, Romeo? Romeo said, yeah, that's right. Don't you know nothing? Ain't you got no sense, no coot? Anyway, guys, what else we got? The gnome, the goat, trash can, Matilda, and a cat. Y'all, I've shown you the cat, haven't I? Somebody sent me this. There's the cat. So we have a cat and a trash can which is cute <laughs> and then we got Romeo right there with her so everybody's happy good morning Rangers without further ado we will talk about this is the first day of the rest of your life make it a good one it's the day after yesterday day before tomorrow it's right now and right now when we're right on by why do I say that every day to remind myself that if there's anything I want to do that I should get off my little hiney and get busy doing it and so I think I will. We'll probably do some traveling here in the next few days. Where? I don't know. Don't matter. We just go. And then what else? Uh, never worry about what you cannot change. And that's, uh, yeah, and that's most of the stuff that we see in here. We're, we're, we're inundated with useless information. But enough said about that. Here's a little uh, thing you could do if you really are bored. You could take a product uh, any product off from your shelf like a can of something you eat and look at the ingredients and then go to Google and type type in one of the ingredients and see what it is you know and and, uh, and see what the side effects of it are and all that stuff that's just one ingredient and if you really want to do the exercise check all of them that'd take you a week on some of these products but enough said and once you do that, you probably won't eat it. <laughs> I did it on some oatmeal. And there was one thing in there. I thought, what the hell is that? Anyway, it was it's something to keep the oatmeal from sticking. But anyway, enough said. What else? Uh, as far as taking a trip somewhere, I might go boondocking a day or two just to see, because I can go down to Lake Amistad and uh, boondock. It's, it may not be cool enough. You know, let me see what it's going to be here. Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 26 degrees. Yo! How about that? Getting a little cooler up there, huh? Let's see what 10 days. It, you know, this phone is everything, isn't it? Okay, so starting on Saturday. I don't know, but I found these Hey, Google, 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 whoa, whoa, stop. Anyway, Saturday's high is going to be 71, Sunday 72, Monday 78, 80, 83, 84. So, yeah, but Saturday and Sunday's not the best time to go boondocking at the lake. Why? Because that's usually when it's busy. But anyway, moving along here, what is it? Uh, let's go to comments. Uh, oh, just a minute. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? So now she ain't going to talk. Typical female. Mm -mm. I heard her feelings, so she ain't gonna talk now at all. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? Uh -uh. <laughs> Damn thing. Oh hell. Enough said. Move along here to comments, Rusty. Ralph P. Thanks for sharing your hometown memories, Rusty. My hometown is too dang far away to visit. Well, go visit it anyway. Thank you. Postcards from Terry. Hello, Terry. I use that for emergencies. Solo female traveler, so it is important for me. The panic button. Oh, the panic button on my key fob. I, that, yeah, that's the video I did after I hit it accidentally. God, it like to drove me crazy. My horn was on. <laughs> Shit, and I couldn't, what I do? I mean, anyway, enough said. None of you, some of you probably have done the same thing. This is about my old hometown, W.P. Wood. Hey, Rusty, on January 1st, 2025, 2025, I'm not planning that far ahead. We, I hope I'm here. Texas will do away with auto inspections, but will keep 
pollution check for 17 most populated counties. Well, that's fine with me. My vehicle is licensed in New Mexico and there's no inspection required there. But moving along, thank you, W.P. Wood. James Micken, amazing old houses and trees. I love the drives. Thank you, Rusty. You're very welcome. I, you get a lot of softball videos from me. I don't do movies. I do videos. <laughs> Why is this thing sticking out like that? Because it plugged in. Put it there. How about that? But anyway, moving along. Uh, Prairie Night Moon. Hello, Prairie Night Moon. Enjoyed the ride through Victoria with you via video. What did you get at HEB? None of your business. That's what I got at HEB. No, I don't know. Normal stuff. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, for, for your viewing pleasure today, I think it's a walk-in video, but it's kind of out of sequence. You know, it's the one I did several days ago before I went to Victoria. So it's probably going to, you're probably going to go, what the hell is he talking about? But anyway, that's all right. And then, and then I got another little short that I threw in for flavor for today. Uh, this is Leanne says, thanks for the ride along as have never been to Victoria, Texas. Enjoyed. Well, it's not on your way anywhere, I don't think. But anyway, King for a day. I also, this is Kennedy. I also remember Mattel had their shooting shells, pistols, and rifles. They were those were gray plastic bullets with a tab that locked into a spring-loaded cartridge that would shoot out when fired. Resembled a real bullet. One would one could stick a cap to the cartridge that would provide a bang and smoke when fired. Talk about awesome. Well, you guys had modern stuff. You know, we didn't have any of that. Patrick Russell, Kennedy School sounded cool, though not something, uh, American Graffiti, which filmed in Modesto, big city in the day. My favorite part of the movie was Wolfman Jack. Yeah, I used to listen to him on a little one transistor radio, had an ear thing. And yeah, you just barely turned the knob and you could pick him up. You know what I mean? Wolfman Jack. When I was 13 in 1963, I was able to pick up Wolfman Jack in Los Angeles in the evening on my pocket AM radio from Reno, Nevada, through the 17 miles from town. He was so cool. Yeah, yeah. I'd get him every now and then. You'd get, you know, signals bounce and stuff. But yeah, Wolfman Jack. He made a lot of money. Patrick Russell, porches were certainly a big deal in South Texas. Funny how many new places lack shaded porches. Yeah, you know, but back then it was almost a necessity in the 60s, 50s, foil all the way up to the, we got air conditioned. But yeah, you'd sit out there in the evening. That was the coolest spot around, you know. That was Patrick Russell. D. Anderson, I can imagine that place gets hot as blazes in the summer. Could you imagine living there now with no air conditioning? I'd die. Well, we, I lived there for, hell, I don't know, 18 years my growing up life. We, had, we didn't have any air conditioning. Uh -uh. Did it get hot? Yeah, I guess it did. Yeah, we went through the drought in the 50s. I always say it's a seven, they call it a seven year drought, but it was dry, man. There were cracks in the ground that wide, you know? It was very damn dry. But our windmill never went dry. D. Anderson, pretty place. Victoria, IME 88, more memory lane, beautiful town, and those are some architectural buildings. Amazing, thanks again, Rusty. Yeah, Victoria's got some cute stuff downtown. Saucy Smith, hi, enjoyed your ride along. Thank you, Saucy Smith. IME 88 again, thanks for the tour, Rusty. I love small towns. I grew up in one. Aloha, aloha to you. Scotty Thompson, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. Nice shirt, Rusty. Cool comment, call cool video, talk cool video, talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mask bowler from the, 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 the Wisconsin. Texas lady, LOL, this came across my YouTube shorts. I knew, I just knew it was rusty. Yeah, that was on teamwork, the ants. Yeah, I saw them uh, yesterday when I was walking, they had a, a mesquite bean. <laughs> you know, mesquite beans are about this long, you know. And uh, yeah, there must have been a thousand of them, man. They were, but they were moving it. I mean, how they were going to get it down that, in their hole, I don't think they thought that through. You know what I mean? They might. Now, they probably will. You know. uh, anyway, Henri Codger, like Wimpy in the Popeye cartoons, I'd like a plate of 25-cent hamburgers. 
and I'll gladly pay you Tuesday. Yeah, that was old Wimpy. He was always going to pay tomorrow. And remember the three stooges? They, they got they got taken to the court, and the judge uh, came in and banged the gavel and says, order in the court. And that fat one stood up and said, I'll have a hamburger and fries. <laughs> oh, anyway. Regina Dedrick, Dedrick, I guess. I lived in Victoria right out of college. I worked for the University of Houston, Victoria campus, moved on to bigger and better things, but loved it while I was there. Yeah, it's just humid, that's all. It's just humid. Uh, Solo Lewis Vlogs. What day did you decide to quit working and wander off by yourself? You said from 75 to 85, 10 years. Wow. Well, that was, I didn't really, I, I, well, I'll tell you when I wandered off, decided to wander off by myself and, and go just do whatever the hell I wanted to do. After my last divorce, man, there I sat on the porch of this five bedroom, three bath home and, uh, you know, stressed to the max. And I thought, yeah, this, this is going to kill me. And uh, I decided I'd just chunk it all in. And two years later, I did. I, I gradually just phased everything out, put money in coffee cans or whatever you want to call it, hid it. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, that was it. Yeah, and, of course, you know, when I, I went off the diving board and, shoo, right down the tube, you know. And, uh, yeah, but it was a, I wouldn't change it for the world. Al Fur, thumbs up to you. Good morning. This is Henri Codger. Another beautiful area, clean, like traffic, plenty of restaurants. That's Victoria. What more could you ask for? Thumbs up. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a big, it's a city. You know, it's 100,000 people around there. Uh, Susan Kim, when I go back to my hometown, it sure is different, too. It's amazing how things change. Always change, man. Speaking of changes, I got an email uh, yesterday evening, actually, from uh, Starlink, and they've changed the ship date on my Starlink to like January the 5th or in that range. And uh, so, you know, that thing may have to go by the wayside. You know, I'm not that patient. You know, I'm not going to wait. You know, they got $700 of my money. So we'll see. You know, I'm going to check and see if they can't, if there's anything I can do to expedite it. And if I can't, then I guess that, well, you know, and do, will, will, will I regret if I don't get the Starlink? No, not really. It doesn't really change anything. It was just something that I thought would enhance uh, my camping experience in places where I didn't have a cell signal. And, uh, but we'll see. But right now I'd say it's 50-50. Susan Kim, when I go back to my hometown, it sure is different too. Oh, I read that. Uh, yeah, but you know, that thing was also 150 a month. And I, I watched some videos of some people that have the RV thing, the RV mobile thing. And, uh, they are not uh, prioritized, and so if they're in an area where it's busy, their signal can go way down to almost nothing. So, you know, we, we'll, there are some downsides, I guess is what I'm saying, to uh, Starlink. 150 a month is one of them. But the one good thing about the RV plan, the RV mobile thing, is you can turn it on and turn it off as needed. Of course, you, you have to do it for, you, you turn it on for a month, then you can turn it off for a month, or you can turn it on for three months and off for three months, you know, whatever you need. So it has that advantage. Uh, Louis Paparilla, friends of mine work at Ramsey's Restaurant for over 20 years. Yeah, they've been there for a long time. I knew old man Ramsey. In fact, uh, I lived right next to him over in uh, uh, Tanglewood in Victoria. Uh, Al Fur, thumbs up to you. John Hogg, whoosh. Another very brief view. Uh, one can only go forward. You can't go back. Nothing is static. Absolutely correct them. <clears throat> Terrell 48. There's a Dairy Queen there in Brackettville, maybe. No, there's not. Not, a Bra not in Brackettville, there's no Dairy Queen. Mm -mm. Noop, 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 noop. Terrell 48. The foremost the plant near Victoria is not as toxic, toxic as you let on. They do regular testing at the areas around the plants as well as areas around the refineries near Freeport. The gasoline in at Sam's in Victoria is three thirteen a gallon. Uh, well, you know, I don't. I, I just I just remember them having some spills uh, years ago, and uh, you know, and, and they were they they were fined often. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, King for a day says, I remember back in the 50s, 60s, Cowboys, Indian outlaw shootouts with the kids in the neighborhood, sometimes using pellet and BB guns. I wouldn't have used a pellet gun. I still have a scar on my wrist where I got stabbed by a play knife. I don't remember most of their names or faces, but often wonder where they are today. Dead, probably. The biggest influence back then was the plethora of TV westerns, Gunsmoke, Rifleman, Paladin. Yeah, all of those shows. Yeah, we had all. Yeah, that's true. Bronco Lane. Yeah, don't forget that one. Uh, John Wog says, "Ha ha!" Like once I was working in Lima, Ohio, and went to a Meher store, whatever that is, M-E-I-J-E-R. One can buy cars on one side, lines on the other, and everything else in between. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Okay, we'll do this one. We'll do three more. Shut her down. M.D. Grimes, like Mr. Pumpkin, we threw dirt clods, and the ones with long grass still attacks were made great hand grenades. Yeah, we 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 had a rock fight. Well, not rock fights, uh, dirt clods fights. I guess you'd call it. I mean, that's kids, you know. Something. Fletch says good video. Thank you. And uh, two more here. Alvin Masso, thanks for sharing your history. You're welcome. Patrick Russell, my first meal for two over one hundred dollars was in Vancouver, Vancouver, British Columbia, on vacation in 1974. I choked as though. It was my week's worth of earnings. Well, you know, I can remember the first time I paid that. It was at the Plaza Club in Victoria, Texas, and I took a girl from Mexico City there for an evening meal. And uh, she said, you know, I, I didn't know anything about wine. She said she'd order it. She did. And the wine she was ordering was $125 a bottle. <laughs> yeah, we drank two of them. Yeah, I didn't feel the pain until I got the bill. You only got bill once a month. Yeah, I got that ding, ding. Anyway, no said. From uh, Fort Clark Springs. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem. Adios, bye, bye, bye. Anything you want, use the Amazon link if you choose to. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind. Yeah, take deep breaths and all that stuff. Keep your health and, uh, yeah, uh, accentuate the positive. Let those uh, neurons in there have good ingredients accentuate the positive eliminate the negative enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time at ease, at ease carry on adios bye bye hasta luego vaya con dios aloha until the next video which is going to be out of sync and you're going to go what in the hell is that guy doing anyway adios amigos bye bye <laughs>